In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys this crazy AI tool. This website is actually insane. The things that you can do with AI at the moment is really confusing and it's just like, what has the world come to? You know, it's kind of at that stage now. But if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. And if you're enjoying the videos that I'm posting out on TikTok, on YouTube, hit the like button just so you can show your support and we can get pushed into that algorithm a little bit more. But yeah, man, AI is just improving very quickly and yeah so this is why i wanted to showcase this with you guys today so go to the website called kaiba.ai and this is basically gonna allow you to create these sort of ai effects and you know basically you can tell them what you want to do with your video clip and it's gonna do it so we're gonna click create video at the top right and we have three options here begin with an image video or audio file and of course we're gonna be going with the video so make sure you have your video clip exported or whatever it is ready on your computer using a video that we filmed and edited for a music video so we can actually see what it would do if I was to use this for clients in the future we click continue and it's gonna take us to this page where it's gonna tell us to describe the subject so for the first one i'm actually gonna go with a futuristic cyberpunk city because i feel like that will look really nice and it's gonna have that nice glow to it i can just imagine so we're gonna click continue and then i'm gonna give it 3d render okay i'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it that sort of style because i know what that looks like and yeah man let's just click continue see what it does for us it takes you to this page after and it basically says edit settings this is the meaning of how high and stable you want this effect to be so i think for this one we're just going to keep it on six so we're going to click generate and then it's basically going to give you the preview of your ai as a frame so we can kind of see like a thumbnail basically so we can see what we're getting it's going to give us four and we can choose which one we prefer out of the four and then it's going to create the actual video for us so guys as you can see we've got a really cool effect here now i already kind of know which one i want to go with but this when i'm just looking at this this is actually mad like guys ser seriously this, this is crazy what it can actually do for us but with this scene that we have there actually isn't any buildings directly in the back it's actually a curtain so i'm gonna go with the first one and then we are going to click finalize a video okay guys so our ai video has been completed now again please take into consideration that the curtain here is obviously giving off a city background i should have went for the other one that i was gonna go for in the first place but in terms of the actual artist and the way he's moving if we were to just take that into consideration just look at that look how clean that is it's crazy the detail the attention to detail is crazy it's mad it just looks mad and if i was to actually you know perfect this i know for sure that this could work but I'm just having fun with this at the moment. So if you start to add a little flash, yeah, just that little flash alone gives it a nice look. And then if we wanted to, we could end the, the clip there and flash it back into the normal shot. So like little transitions like that. That's quite cool. I mean, it doesn't look perfect, but it looks cool. And I know that if we could perfect this, this might be something that artists and clients of mine might want in the future. Ooh, these ones look hard. Yeah, these are, these ones are looking hard. All right, I'm gonna go with this one right here because all the buildings at the bottom, like that shit's looking hard. So guys, we have our final AI product. Look at the clouds, look at all the information. I mean, the buildings at the bottom left is a bit glitchy and everyone does kind of change characters a little bit or like, their movement does change, colors are changing, but I mean, you know what? This, this, this shit is fire, man. So it does look cool. And obviously the quality is not, you know, up to its best standards. But again, that's the effect that we're getting. I mean, this one here just looked, you know, really nice as well as this one. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below about the AI tools, about what you can do with it at the moment. Is it something that you guys as a creative would you know dive into or just a person that likes this sort of stuff would you be doing this 
Um, would you suggest it to clients? Um, just let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. If you guys want me to test this a little bit more and go more into detail and give the AI tool a little bit more of descriptive words to get my own sort of style instead of just using the presets, um, do let me know. It's just I just wanted to show you guys how it basically worked and what the program is offering us at the moment again if you are new make sure you hit the subscribe button smash the like button follow up on my tiktok follow up all my socials if you are looking for visuals hit me up on email or on instagram thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video